Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Cancer their monthly love read. Cancer, this is for July of 2022. Um, we're going to do you, them, and the connection because we have not done that in a while. Um, so these are general reads, guys. Keep that in mind. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. If you're unclear as to what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will give you that information. Um, there's also a link in the description box below if you're interested in a personal read. Fairly inexpensive, guys. Um, check it out if you're interested. Uh, thanks for watching again. We're also going to pull some oracle cards. I have four new decks I'm excited to be using today. Um, so we'll get some love and romance journey cards, heart-to-heart -heart messages, love oracles, and then we're going to finish the read off with love message playlist cards. So... We'll get into it, guys. Oh, what is going on with you, Cancers? Ooh, you got some major arcanas happening here. All right, so so the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups, which is uh, a good thing. It's emotional fulfillment, right? It can be a wish fulfillment, but it can also be um, it can also be a single kind of energy. I don't feel like it's a single energy. I think this is going to be a wish fulfillment. I feel like this um, energy is going to be a wish fulfillment. But I do think you have some adversity happening with you, Cancer. So um, you're showing up as the temperance, the devil, and the nine of pentacles. So I feel like, um, again, the nines are kind of like the singular energy. But I feel like you're really kind of working on your finances. I feel like you're working on getting your life stable. You're working on getting your ducks in a row. Perhaps saving up some money. Definitely working on yourself and your independence. I feel like you're you you're definitely battling some kind of toxic energy, whether this is like a karmic energy, maybe you're dealing with a karmic, um, it could be some kind of addiction, some kind of negative self-talk, it could be obsessive compulsive thoughts or behaviors. Um, so I feel like you're really kind of trying to get yourself together in terms of dealing with these thoughts that are going on in your mind, this stress, this worry, things that you're trying to get out from under. Um, and it is taking patience, but you're really working on balancing these things out. You're really working on becoming this um, independent, financially stable, grounded person, opposed to this person that has a lot of this obsessive kind of thoughts and obsessive kind of tendencies. Um, toxic behaviors can be um, codependent behaviors relationships too but I feel like you're really kind of healing and moving away from that I think your person um, <laughs> uh, ironically enough has kind of some similar tendencies um, this eight of swords energy here is um, someone who is like stuck up in their mind they feel like they're entrapped they feel like they're blinded they don't know what to do they're kind of self-sabotaging because this girl could really, truly just move her blindfold down and take two steps forward and be out of this circle of swords, right? So this is kind of a, um, a self-imposed feeling of being trapped. They're, you're not really trapped. They're not really trapped. But I do see them walking away from that energy of feeling like they're super trapped. So um, interesting too, guys. You, you're showing up as a nine with a nine um, on the bottom of the deck. And they're showing up as two eights. Eight of swords, eights of cups. So I feel like um, this person is moving away from this anxiety-filled energy. And I do feel like they're going to provide an offer of love towards you or an apology. I kind of feel like this is more of an offer of love. Could potentially be an apology, but I don't know for sure. I think it's more of an offer of love. Um, I feel like... I'm feel like I'm feeling liking. I feel like it is possible that you two kind of came together because you had similar kind of issues in terms of I feel like this is really like obsessive thinking or compulsive like going to worst case scenario in your mind. I feel like it's like this being chained to these trains of thoughts that aren't helpful or productive. Um, I feel like this person will be offering some love to you. The page of cups can be like, hey, let's go on a date. Would you like to have some coffee? But I feel like you guys kind of came together because you had some common kind of issues in terms of perhaps dealing with the karmic or, or struggling with these thoughts or, you know, commiserating about a situation or a, a behavior. Um, 
But I think good things are going to be happening, guys, because we have the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. So for the connection, the Queen of Pentacles is grounded. The Queen of Pentacles is stable. The Queen of Pentacles is a provider. This uh, this is a nurturer, nurturer, caretaker. So I feel like um, this is a very good situation in terms of uh, commitment. It's grounded. It's loyal. It's it's um, promising. It's it's not fleeting. It's um, one that comes with care. It's someone who provides um, financially for one another. So I think it's going to be very grounded. Um, the higher font is also here. So this is like a higher level commitment. I feel like this relationship could definitely be this wish fulfillment that you're seeking. And under that, guys, we have the Ace of Pentacles um, and another eight, the Eight of Pentacles, which is to me is a soulmate card, but it's also putting in the work for a connection. So I see a grounded, stable, committed, loyal connection. That's a wish fulfillment coming, guys. Um, and I think it's going to be coming quickly. Um, the chariot card being here, that's your energy too, Cancer. I feel like um, it's going to be forward movement, forward movement. I think you guys are going to make this choice to move forward together um, and have a stable, grounded, higher level commitment. Uh, I, I usually say marriage, but a lot of people are like, I'm never getting married. I don't want to get remarried. That's not my, okay, higher level commitment, a committed relationship if you're not getting married. Let's get um, the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Cancer. Romance and true love. Yep. And I feel like that Page of Cups energy is that romance part. They're going to kind of woo you. Woo, woo you. All right. Delicacy. Mm. I'm just going to show you this picture. Those are some rose petals, but um, I feel like this might be a delicate situation, right? Because you both are kind of struggling. We'll just leave it at that. And sacred connection, yeah? Sacred connection. I do feel like this is kind of a, a wish fulfillment, right? It is a wish fulfillment. Um, it is a higher level connection. It is spiritually guided. All right, whoa, guys, we're going to get um, a couple heart-to-heart -heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracles. So I can't fight this feeling anymore. Now i got an REO speed wagon stuck in my head. I can't fight this feeling anymore, and when the time is right, I will be with you. So I feel like um, you guys are both kind of moving towards one another. I feel like you're moving away from this energy, this toxicity, and towards a much healthier, stable relationship. I don't know. I need to Google search this because I'm bothering myself and not knowing how to say this. Um, Andromeda, Andromeda Skies, Love Oracle cards. You are the love of my life. These songs all remind me of like songs like Sammy Kershaw, the 90s country song, You Are the Love of My Life. You are the reason I'm alive. And long distance. Okay. All right, long distance. So you might be long distance lovers. All right, guys, we are going to finish off your read cancer with love message playlist cards from Sh Queen Sugar Tarot. I keep wanting to say Sugar Queen Tarot. Queen Sugar Tarot. It has a song and uh, an artist on the front and the lyric on the back. So the song that flipped out to you is Music Sounds Better With You by Stardust. The lyric says, ooh, baby, I feel right. Music sounds better with you. Love might bring us both together. I feel so good. I feel so right. Music sounds better with you. So maybe you guys connect in terms of music. Maybe, um, you know, maybe that song is uh, um, resonates with you, makes you think about a specific person. Maybe that's just the song you really like. I don't know. But um, all right, guys, Cancers, thank you so much for watching. That concludes our read. Um, the the uh, weeklies will be out soon, guys, so watch out for those. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate your support so much, guys. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.